Hello everyone, today we're going to get Empire's Dawn of Mod the Modern World running on Windows 11. First thing you do is you grab a GOG copy of the game, um, try and boot it up and then exit out of it. It will most likely will not work because this is why this guide is being made. But once you do that, open up Bridge Edit, go to HK Current User, Software, SSSI and Empires, change game bit depth from 32 uh, from 16 to 32. You change it by right clicking, clicking modify and then changing it from 16 to 32. And for height and width, change it to uh, resolution. So in this case I'm using a 1080p display, so I change it to 1080 and then 1920. You can just exit out of that. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, go to the main directory, open up the um, main executable, right click it, Got properties, compatibility, uh, change settings for all users, and you're going to run it in compatibility Windows XP. Um, this may or may not cause issues. If it does, disable it. Run this as ad admin. Click change high DPI settings. Um, enable this, change to I signed into Windows. Enable this, change it to system enhanced. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, download the DX wrapper. When you unzip it, you're going to want to copy DX wrapper DLL and DX wrapper INI to the main uh, folder here. You then open up inside um, the DX wrapper folder stub, copy DDraw and D3D8 into the main folder as well. You're then going to want to download the um, Zoom Changer, which is available from this address, and you click here to download it. You open up the main executable, then you uh, load it. And then you change the values for zoom culling and cull, zoom scaling rather, to these values here. So 1.5 for zoom and for cull 260.29. This is for a 1080 resolution. For other resolutions, you may need to change it uh, in, this, in the sense that you're going to need to experiment. You then write the values and then close it. After that, open up the DX wrapper, click edit and then uh, add, add the main uh, executable, click modify, change the width and height, change the desktop center, uh, run, no banner and run on a window. This game crashes on Windows 11 when you try and run in full screen. I've tried many things, I cannot get it to work. Go to uh, input, click this, go to DX uh, Direct 3D, uh, sorry, DirectX and click DirectX 8. And then click OK. You need to open DXWind in administrator mode. So do that. Open it up. There's also one final thing you need to do. So you click display settings. Go down to where it says scale. Put, uh, this, uh, put this as 100. Click OK. It will ask you to sign out. So you sign out then that's fine. You sign back in. And then you'll be good to go. The game will now launch. The two intros will not work. But... Um, you can get to the main menu and another thing is because we're in a window we have the taskbar down here you gotta cull it basically so open up the taskbar behaviors automatically hide it and then you can play the game it runs fine um, the performance runs as I remember it running the voices work the music works the unit voices work um, yeah, there's no issues um, as far as I'm aware and the game will just work so as you got unit voices and um, I don't think the unit voices like work when you're outside of the camera range but that's whatever um, oh, I don't think they want to go to the island that's alright Maybe the developer put a visit invisible wall there. But look, the game works. And then if you want to do a taskbar, have it come back, just uh, disable the setting. This guide is a combination of a couple of different resources. So this individual with the zoom patch, this individual talking about a DX wrapper, um, this individual here, uh, there is another individual who I will insert into, into the uh, video description talking about the DPI settings. Um, 
and then this this individual here um, discussing the scale and if there's anyone else I'll put it in the video settings but this is just a very quick guide on how to get this game to work so thank you very much for watching and I appreciate it and have a good day see ya